Okay, hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thanks so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and do a general message. Let's do a check-in on the twin flames and the soulmates. Now this is a general message, so it may not resonate with everyone. Take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thanks to those who do reach out for those. And thanks to those who donate to the channel and to those of you who do subscribe. It's very much appreciated. So... I do hope that everybody is well. But Spirit, what is the energy here today? So let's look at the soulmates first. What is the energy for the soulmates? All right, for my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node and Venus. What is the energy here? Hmm. So soulmates, you have reconciliation coming out here. And you've got engagement at the bottom of the deck. So someone from your past is returning to your life. And then you have your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Your soulmate could be, if you have met them already, they could be walking away from another situation that maybe they thought was true love. Or maybe this is someone who was married before. <clears throat> Give me a card for the soulmates. Thank you, Spirit. Why is the reconciliation here? So you have the book. It's a number 26. Which boils down to an eight. So again, the eight of wands is an energy for me of movement, right? This um, Maybe you've been communicating with this person back and forth here. Um, it says education, knowledge, research, unknown, mystery, secret. For some of you, your soulmate could have just like maybe been away studying or um, learning, you know, maybe like uni or something like that here. Um, or maybe they're in uni at this time. But this is also to me is giving me like the book of life where there had to be some sort of lessons learned in this situation. Someone's soulmate could be like a writer, um, a painter or a drawer or something like that as well. Tell me more about the soulmate connection. Yeah, I'm seeing rejoice. Your soulmate could be being released from jail or something like that for someone here. Yeah, I just see. Look at that commitment. And we saw engagement. So congratulations for whoever that may be for. There goes dealing with a soulmate. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, look, it came out anyway. So we have rejoice and it says embrace your loving connection and rejoice. And then you have obstacles. It says look for ways around the obstacles to find happiness. Yeah, there's some something here that is being solved so that you guys can come together. So that's nice. What is this spirit for the soulmates? Yeah, someone here had to walk away from something or abandon a certain situation here. Again, someone could have been just traveling. But then you see we have the fall, the energy of freedom. Again, an uh, indi indication of travel here. Virgo's dealing with a soulmate. Thank you, spirit. Now, your soulmate doesn't always have to be a love interest, okay? Soulmates can come in different forms, right? Friends, uh, family members, things like that. Um, 
Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so someone here feels like they made some sort of a bad choice. Or like I said, maybe the, the foundation, maybe there were some sort of obstacles here where you couldn't really get this off the ground with your soulmate here. Show me more about this page of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, two of Pentacles. A situation that needed some sort of balance here. Or maybe someone here was juggling when it comes to their finances. So maybe finances was an issue for some of you. Or like I said, maybe someone here, for some of you, somebody chose another person over you. But it, like I said, with the book card, it makes me feel like someone here is coming to some sort of realization about something. Show me more. If there is distance between you and this person, I see you guys kind of communicating about, you know, what can we do about this um, to, uh, to close the gap, right? Show me more. A lot of pentacles. Queen of Swords. I heard brainstorming. So you may be giving your soulmate some sort of advice here with this Queen of Swords energy. You know, the Queen of Swords is someone who's very honest, very truthful. She's very clear and direct, you know. She, you know, she can come across as a little bit harsh sometimes. But, you know, it's just because of what she has been through. It's that energy of constructive criticism as well. Um, this person could feel like you're very funny as well, Virgos. Maybe it's just the way you speak. But you come across as very strong and I feel like they like that about you. Maybe you had to tell this person some home truths for some of you. About maybe what was keeping them blocked with the Queen of Swords coming underneath the obstacles. Clarify the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. The Five of Pentacles. And that makes the Six of Pentacles. So maybe for some of you, your soulmate makes bad choices when it comes to their finances. This could even be an energy of living above your means or. But like I said, if they try to plant or, or set roots somewhere else or try to lay a foundation somewhere else, I, I feel like they're very much seeing that they made a bad choice. But the five of pentacles for some of you, especially with reconciliation out here, is an energy of somebody feeling like they're left out in the cold. But we also have this energy of the six of pentacles energy. OK, so this is definitely also someone who feels like. They didn't give enough to the situation and they may be realizing that. Six of Pentacles talks about giving and receiving. For some of my Virgos, your soulmate could have had some sort of financial loss, which maybe has helped them to open their eyes. What is the page of Pentacles in the reverse with the five of Pentacles upright? Judgment, karma. I told you something here has helped someone to have some sort of awakening. And now that they are having this awakening, they kind of want your forgiveness. Mm, bad judgment. What is the two of pentacles? Oh, okay. You have the king and the queen of wands coming out here. So there's definitely could be an energy of attraction between the two of you. What is this queen of wands? And what is the king of wands? I feel like somebody wants to apologize to you about something from the past. Again, the six of cups with the page of cups, it makes that energy of the seven of cups, right? Which can talk about confusion and illusions here. Now, for some of you, okay, whether you're dealing with a fire sign or not, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay, male or female. We've also got Aquarius, Libra, Gemini out here. Sagittarius heavy. For some of you, 
you, you may be dealing with someone who wants to reconcile, but I, I don't know if this person is a little bit delusional. But whoever this is, they are very much sitting back watching you in a very powerful position. Okay? An energy of you showing strength and courage and confidence and not underestimating yourself. You being very motivated. It's almost like somebody looking at you as if you know exactly where you're going. And then maybe not so much. Now for others of you, this could be... I don't know. With the Two of Pentacles, give me more about the Two of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. The Four of Swords, yeah. And King of Swords. This person wants to speak to you because they're really, if this is just home, they're coming out as almost matching your energy almost, right? King and Queen of Wands queen and king of swords or maybe for some of you you know maybe you have more than one soulmate there's someone here who wants to heal something here of you but see there is something here that they did that was an unwise choice and they would have to speak up and tell you some sort of truth and in this card i'm not sure if they're willing to do that right they may have some sort of fear What is this Queen of Swords? King of Cups. And the Knight of Wands. And then you've got the Nine of Cups turning over. You will wish fulfillment to someone here, Virgos. Okay. Now you've got the King of Cups out here. We all know that the King of Cups doesn't wear his heart on his sleeve. You may, you may be dealing with a soulmate who is more of a, someone who likes to show you rather than tell you. This is also someone who is having some sort of romantic thoughts about you with the King of Cups and the Knight of Wands energy. So we now have Cancer Pisces Scorpio out here. Someone here could be wondering if you are single or if you have options here. But there's also someone who is mad, mad, upset here that I don't know if this person tried to cause a tower moment for you or because they're going for a tower moment here. It's almost like you're coming out as if you are very much in an energy of peaceful, balance, harmony. You know, you're coming out as very stable and independent here. And then around another person, there's a lot of things that are crashing down and happening here. Spirit, tell me more about the soulmate. Ooh, okay. <laughs> we got karmic relationship. It says fleeting, triggers, turmoil. It says resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. You see what I'm saying? For some of you, you're dealing with a soulmate here who may be attached to a karmic here. And now they want to escape that situation. This person could be going through some life lessons here. Karma. Now they want to let go of all this kind of trouble, right? They don't want to be in that tower anymore. Spirit, please set me free. I want to go back and love the Virgo. I see where I went wrong to a pentacles. So yeah, I don't know if your, your soulmate is in a situation with a, a fire sign. I'm hearing only fools rush in. So when I think of the full card, you could be dealing with an Aries or an Aquarius. You have the butterfly. It says relationships evolving to the next level. It says healing the inner child. It says growth. So maybe you help to catapult this person into an awakening into going through maybe some sort of dark night of the soul. You have not enough. It says frustrated in a relationship. It says lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. Mm. They could be dealing with someone who is very codependent. 
someone who has some sort of self-confidence issues, low self-esteem. Or that's your person. <laughs> you have abundance. It says keep a positive mindset. It says manifest exactly what you want. It says gratitude and bliss. Yeah, I'm telling you, this is someone who may be jealous of how your lifestyle is or what you have manifested for yourself here. So even with this Queen of Swords and this Obstacles card, I could see it that, you know, you have very much cut through any kind of issues that may have been in your way. Or maybe you have cut people, places and things out of your life here, Virgos, that you know was no longer serving you. And now it's almost like you're receiving your blessings. It's all about the choices we make. Yeah, but this for some of you, this may be someone who wants to take a chance coming towards you here. But you see with the hands of cards, it talks about someone who's being strategic. And like I said, it's either because they're trying to get away from something or something has ended for them or the coughing card, right? There's a lot of changes happening at this time. Show me more about the soulmates. Thank you, spirit. So we have, I will wait for a sign from you. It was in the reverse. So I don't know this person they may be waiting for you to reach out to them, whether you will, I don't know. You have, I want to feel that way again. It says, I know I messed up everything. And then you have, I left when I saw you with someone. So is that you, Virgos? You left when you saw this person with someone or when you found out that um, there was another person involved or. It's almost like I'm hearing for some of you, you left when you realized that you didn't have this person's undivided attention. So again, with the Knight of Wands, maybe this is someone who is um, very flirty, right? This could be um, someone who is very non-committal or they like to explore their options here. I'm hearing for some of you, you're also dealing with someone who keeps a lot of secrets when it comes to, I, I want to say, sexual energy or whatever their desires are or things like that. Tell me more about this person, Spirit. Thank you. Virgo's dealing with a soulmate. So we have the Renew and Spark, which is like the Ace of Wands. We have Decisions. Yeah, I'm telling you, this is someone who wants to come towards you. But I feel like this is someone for some of you where they've been waiting in the background, kind of like to see, hmm, you know, I know the Virgo will reach out to me or they hope that you would. But I don't know. Now they're thinking, hmm, maybe they're not going to reach out to me. So what do I do now? Decisions. Show me more. You have form and structure and solid foundation. Yeah, this is someone who knows that they messed up something good here. Something that could have been long term. They know that you would have been someone who would have been loyal, dedicated. Almost like all the things they ain't. You have epiphany and breakthrough. Uh, yeah, look at that. This is what I was saying. It's almost like as soon as some of my Virgos, you learned the lesson in a situation and let this situation go. It's almost like epiphany breakthrough and then you step into your north node. And while you're in your north node, you have this person who is in their shadow side. But you see, I feel like this is someone who had a chance to receive whatever this light is, right? It's almost that like energy of to receive the calling, but they chose not to. They turned down a situation that would have been very nurturing for them. It would have been wish fulfillment for them. It would have helped them to awaken and step into their north node, right? Transcendence and unity. But this is someone who'd rather choose conflict, okay? They'd rather stay in toxic situations. They'd rather deal with toxic people. And it's probably because they know that they are toxic for some of you. So they feel more comfortable in that circle, it's not an easy thing to step into your north node. You have to go for a lot. And you don't just have to go for a lot. 
but you also have to survive. And it's almost that energy of when I say survive, you know, when you go through life, depending on what your life journey has looked like, Things like mental health and depression and maybe feeling like you're in a dark place when your finances is bad, right? Those things put a lot of strain on your mental and not everybody can deal or cope with it. But then that's why we have that saying, the fittest of the fittest will survive. Many are called, but only few are chosen. Tell me more about this soulmate energy. Thank you, Spirit. So we have elusive. It says dishonesty, deception, and trickery. Yep. And that is why for some of you it was a karmic relationship. You have memories. It says reminiscing, dwelling, and bittersweet. We have breaking point, it says limit, it says final straw, and it says overwhelmed. This person could definitely be watching you here online, okay? And then we have conflicted, it says decisions, hot and cold, and multiple choices. It's almost like an energy of the table turning on this person, right? Because it looks like for some of you now, you're the one that's going to be in a position of having the options, having the abundance, having the emotional fulfillment, being in that energy of feeling satisfied. Whether that is whether you're with somebody or on your own, because we saw that nine of pentacles energy. Yeah, look at the bottom of the deck. Perspective, better off, happiness, clear headspace. Hmm. All right, Spirit, give me four cards for this situation. So it goes even with a soulmate. I get two more. Thank you. So you have... Oh, let go of the past. It says clear energy to allow more love in your life. You have lasting love. It says this is your true love. Yeah, for some of you, they may be realizing that too late, though. You have signs and clues. It says the universe is talking to you. But see that sitting with breaking point? <laughs> this is someone who feels like, damn, I missed the signs. How, how did I... <laughs> It's that energy of somebody kicking themselves. And then you have reaching out. It says expect a call or text from your person of interest. I don't know. We have that we've conflicted. Maybe you don't want to hear from this person. Maybe you're ignoring them if they have reached out. But they are watching you. Virgo's dealing with a soulmate. Let's get one more. Thank you, sir. All right, so you have look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. It says my love for you is as deep as the ocean. Okay, King of Cups. <laughs> It says, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. It says, you can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. You have, look inside yourself. It says, examine what is causing you to feel this way. Yeah, breaking point. This person needs to take accountability for the part that they played in this situation. Kind of... Um, not being anymore right they, they have to realize how they self-sabotage this 
And I feel like for some of you, it's because they were in this kind of Knight of Wands energy, just wanting to be young, free and single, I guess. You have criticising one another will only lead to further unhappiness. It says love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. Okay, so let us move on to the Twin Flames. So what do we have for the Twin Flames? Thank you, Spirit. Oh, what is flying out of the deck? Engagement, okay. Let's put it back and see if it comes out on its own. Virgo's dealing with a twin flame. Man, I don't know if this is supposed to go over here. This person, I feel like this person over here, this soulmate really wants your forgiveness. It says forgiving and learning. It says as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Give me a card for the twin flames. Thank you, spirit. We'll do it. Okay, sorry, Virgos. All right, spirit, what do we have for the twin flames? Okay, so twin flames. Okay, maybe it was meant to come out over here. We have the fox coming out, but it's in the reverse. And I'm noticing that the star is at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, a little bit of similar energy here, because in the upright, the fox does talk about someone who is selfish. It talks about trickery, wrongness. It talks about someone who feels like they're clever, right? It's that kind of energy of strategy here. Um, but it's in the reverse. So I feel like this is someone who is wanting to put this energy behind them. And then, like I said, the star is at the bottom of the deck, which does talk about hopes and dreams, but it talks about wishes and achieving things. But we also know that the star talks about healing, hope, faith. Mm. What's the energy for the twin flames? Thank you, spirit. With the fox in the reverse. Okay, so I'm seeing yin and yang. For some of you, your twin flame may be coming into alignment with you. All right, give me two cards. Thank you. Bottom of the deck, we do have honor. It says, honor your loved one and you will notice your relationship becomes stronger. Yeah. Oh, okay, twin flames. We have past lives. It says, we reunite. It says, we reunite with our loved ones over and over again through many different lives. So you could have had many lifetimes with whoever this is. And then, yeah, we have enlightenment. It says with enlightenment, there is no separation. It says we recognize that we are one with the divine. So your twin flame is definitely seeing something from a different perspective, okay? They've been enlightened about something. They may be realizing who or what this connection is for some of you. Let's use these. <clears throat> Yeah, I just saw the Wheel of Fortune with the Knight of Pentacles. So there is definitely, look at that, and there's the star card. So there is definitely, it's time for something to shift here. It's time, it's almost like, you know, the Wheel of Fortune talks about fate and destiny. And the star card. It's time for you to heal something. It's time for you to come together. Virgo's dealing with a twin flame. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy here? Show me. Mm. 
you have the three of pentacles which talks about teamwork collabing okay building some sort of a solid foundation here show me more some of you may even be moving in with your twin because they just gave me a flash of like um two people like in a shop like buying curtain or something like that blinds or something for the window um okay show me more We have this Knight of Wands coming out here again. We have the Lovers card. If some of you get together with your twin, you, you may have a soulmate that, that um, is not going to handle that well. Tell me more about Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Yeah, I was just saying, I don't know, especially if you have like family with a soulmate that is a karmic soulmate. It's almost like they may see it as if someone here is taking away their family. <laughs> but what is this three of pentacles? Virgo's dealing with a twin flame, the hierophant. So this could even be like getting married. It may be a very like small affair. Where it's just maybe like you, the person, maybe a witness or something. Now, for others of you, there may have been some sort of issues when it comes to tradition and religion and things like that. OK, what is the Hierophant? But this is also making me feel like, you know, the Hierophant talks about knowledge and wisdom, that kind of energy, uh, a teacher or um, a leader, I should um, more say. But I feel like this is this person that has learned something. But what is the Hierophant with the Three of Pentacles? The Six of Swords. Yeah, moving to calmer waters here. Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. There's definitely some sort of success. You could even be making some sort of relationship public here for some of you. I feel like for some of you, your twin flame puts you on some sort of pedestal. Hmm. What is a Knight of Wands? The Four of Cups. What is going on? What is do you are some of you dealing with a twin flame who is also in this energy of kind of regretting that they kind of was a bit of a player or that they was non-committal? It's like where is all these energies coming from? Um so all of a sudden it's like certain people are just wanting to throw up the Playboy or Playgirl um t-shirt, you know. Nobody wants to put on this commitment t-shirt now. Everybody wants to settle down and get things done. And you know what I feel like a lot of it is, Virgos, is that people have been watching you behind the scenes. And they have been seeing how your life has changed. And it's almost like they're starting to realize, like, damn, you know, maybe it is about the choices that you make. I mean, obviously, um, you know, some people are a little bit slower to catch on than others. Um, but it's almost like you're starting to... It's almost like God is using you as... An example. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, because <laughs> they said, yeah, we had to jump in because she was about to get disrespectful. <laughs> what is the lovers? Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> Ten of Swords with the lovers. <laughs> this definitely could have been someone who betrayed you okay it, it, i feel like it was trying to come out sideways and that may be the blockage for some of you in this situation or maybe your twin flame had issues um because maybe they were betrayed maybe there was something that they didn't get over okay and um, which maybe affected them in terms of how they were living their life affected how they treated you how they treated this relationship but like i said I feel like somehow, some way, God used you um, as an example for this person. And I feel like whoever this is over here, uh, they're, they're slowly, they look like they're making the right choices here. 
someone who no longer wants to, I guess, be a sneak with the fox energy. Someone who no longer wants to hide. Someone who no longer wants to be dishonest. They want to do things the right way. So credit where credit is due. What is this Ten of Swords with the lovers? The Three of Cups. Show me more about the Three of Cups. Yeah, the Five of Swords. So if this was someone who put you in a third party situation or if this was someone who, I don't know, maybe partied a lot, drank a lot. Um, maybe I'm hearing one night stands. So <laughs> I feel like this is someone who has found true love. <laughs> King of Cups with the Ace of Cups. This is someone who sees you as their Two of Cups. You're the one for me. Okay. So you could be dealing with a Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio out here, Gemini. So you could be dealing with any sign, okay? Spirit. Show me more. Virgo's dealing with a twin flame. We have keys on a ring. It says many options, decisions, unconditional. It says string along one night stand. Yeah, I said that. We have ascending. So see, it says transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. You have key with a heart with a key coming out sideways okay so it says welcoming love meeting the one it says open your heart getting together and perfect so again there's still some sort of blockages here and it landed on reaching out so some of you you know this person hasn't actually reached out to you but you are heavy on their mind one more Yeah, I'm seeing hammer. It says sabotage, but it says rebuilding, integration. It says repetitive, persistent and working on it. For some of you, this may be someone who has realized that they've done something one too many times. OK, for others of you, it's an energy where this may have been someone who repeated some sort of pattern in a past life as well. They could have betrayed you in a past life with a lover or choosing other people over you. So maybe for some of you, that's why you kind of maybe keep repeating um a life with this twin flame it's almost like an energy until you get it right kind of a thing but let's see we have girl with a snake it says empath it says and narcissist it says paradigm it says being charmed or used in able boundaries okay maybe they were dealing with someone i don't know yeah, love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection and attraction and healing heart. Show me more. So we have, I hope that you can forgive me one day. It says I'm afraid to contact you, yeah. <laughs> You have, you are the best thing in my life. Oh, look, it landed on memories and lasting love. One more. And um, one more. You have, I'm not available. And then you have, I am becoming a better person. Hmm. <laughs> so is it that for some of you, is your twin flame with a girl with a snake? Because that's what it would have sat on top of. I just want one. What is girl with a snake? It says finding out the truth crushed me. Mm. So they may have been betrayed by someone. Okay. 
show me more. Thank you, Spirit. Virgo's dealing with a twin flame. So we have distance. It says separation space and blockage. You have coming out sideways. It says chemistry. It says attraction, spark and passion. You may have been dealing with someone who is very lustful, but like I said, you see the ascending? I feel like they are learning from this. Why do I want to say this? For some of you, I, I don't know if this person got somebody pregnant and very much, and they, you know, that's kind of opened their eyes. Damn, look who I got a baby with kind of an energy. For others of you, this could have been something like maybe like an STD or something like that, that they got from someone and that may have opened their eyes. Show me more. It, oh, or it could have been spell work. You have curse. It says hex, witchcraft, and negative mind. Mm, they could have. They could have had some sort of spell work on them. For some of you, it makes me think of like incubus and succubus energy. You have exhaustion. It says depletion, drained, and a long journey. Mm. Bottom of the deck, we have trapped. And it says stuck, tied down, and captive. And look at that. Some sort of third-party influence. Attachments and peers. And now this person is heartbroken. Withdrawn, feeling lonely. Wow. Show me more, Spirit. Hmm, okay. So we have separation and longing. We have lack and doubt. We have reunion and soul ties. Oh, they may be attached to a karmic here. Yeah, maybe someone they have family with or they're married to. But they still watch you though. I feel like for some of you, they may try and like they try not to, but what is that? Yeah, facade and beliefs. For some of you, I feel like you, your twin flame is going through a real difficult time right now. Man, I feel, I really feel like for some of you, there is something or someone they need to break away from. Virgo's dealing with a twin flame. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> Virgo's dealing with a twin flame. <laughs> Twin flame union. It says heart, body, mind and soul. Yeah, but I'm seeing falling in love and honest communication. Give me a clear message. So you have best friend. Oh, it says friendship is vital to your romance. It says feelings deepen and blossom. So for some of you, your twin flame could even be like your best friend. Maybe this is why they kind of like, you know, like, mm, maybe I shouldn't say anything or maybe they feel like they're not supposed to feel this way about you. We have, oh my goodness. <laughs> We got the marriage card. It says wedding bells are ringing, but it's going to sit with that reunion, soul tires and the curse. I'm telling you, for some of you, this person may be with a karmic, someone they have a family with, married to, but it's a, it's a karmic situation. And oh, you have proposal. It says your romance is about to evolve and level up. 
this could be someone who regrets marrying a certain person okay maybe it's been a very long journey this person has to wear some sort of mask in this relationship uh, you know and maybe they even feel like damn you know virgo you're the one i should have married okay what do we have for the twin flames thank you spirit can i get four cards thank you so i am seeing manifesting miracles it says your dreams is soon to become reality it says trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance you have romance it says cupid's arrow strikes You have weight. It says don't rush into it. It says allow nature to take its course. Yeah, maybe they rushed into, I don't know. You have power. It says you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. This person has to realize that, you know what? Sometimes you've got to fight for your dreams. So Virgos, that is the energy that I picked up here. If you're dealing with a soulmate or a twin flame, I do hope that something has resonated with you in this reading. If it has, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part, guys, stay safe. Love and light, Virgo.